All right, testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing one, two. We are live on Periscope and Facebook, and going to be taking just a few seconds to get information ready to go so that we can get everybody on here for our Facebook section and see what's going on across much of the Mid-South area. If you are just joining us, please drop your location and your comments into the section below and we'd be glad to have more information about what that looks like uh, out there wherever you're from. Love to know where you're from and again more of the details about your uh, current weather conditions out there as well. We'll talk more about Harvey coming up here in just a little bit so stay tuned for more on that. More information as well coming up about the rest of the forecast in just a little bit but as of right now not seeing Again, a great deal of major activity out there, which is definitely good news at this point in time. So, so far looking pretty good across much of the area. But if you have any plans for outdoors, it doesn't look like too much to worry about. Looks like we may have a problem uh, at this time with Facebook. So we're just going to go and see what we can do about staying on live here in just a little bit for Periscope and Twitter. If you are just joining us, again, little if anything going on in the way of major amounts of problems. We do have some scattered showers into and around eastern parts of Arkansas, and that is, again, where we're seeing the heaviest activity by far making its way into the Mid-South from the west to the east, but we're just not seeing, again, anything in the way of major amounts of problems where it comes to rainfall, at least just yet, so good news on that. Much of what we're going to be looking for into the course of the rest of the day is going to again be the possibility of some more areas of showers and maybe some thunderstorms south of us due to the fact that we've got tons of rainfall down that direction from what's left of Harvey but we don't have a lot going on directly where we are here in the Mid-South, so definitely, again, nothing that we're seeing in the way of major amounts of problems here. Now, if you are heading out anytime soon, again, the heaviest activity we've got is over northeast Arkansas and back into around portions of the area of back to about northwest Mississippi. That's going to be about the worst of the worst so far that we see here, but we could see, again, more scattered showers, a lot of cloud cover out across the area throughout the rest of the day today. So if you have any plans for outdoors, that's going to be the worst of the worst of what we see for right now. Forgot to mention again, if you want to see more about the forecast, go here, wreg.com slash weather for more information. And also, again, more information on my social media pages here and also at the icons up there. And in the blue bar at the area right above the... Uh, icons and also below the clock, if you'd like to email me and let me know a little bit more about what you would like to see out here where it comes to updates on the forecast. We'd love to know more about what you think out there, so please let me know about what you are like, liking to see, and we'll be glad to bring you more information on that as well as we go throughout the course of the rest of the next several days and weeks. We would, again, love to have you along for the ride on that. Now, for the metro area, again, we don't have a lot going on immediately. We do have a few scattered light showers now just barely making their way into the metro area, but beyond that, there's just really not that much out there. Plenty of cloud cover across the Mid-South, again, from St. Francis in Cordova. We don't have a lot happening at this time. Cars are a little bit on the sparse side out there, and we may see, again, the possibility of a uh, little bit of need for the windshield wipers to keep operating just on the safe side there. So this could be, again, something to think about if you are traveling, but otherwise not seeing a major amount of problems with travel or anything else, at least a lot less than what we've been seeing out there for, again, the metro area out across the Mid-South. Saying hello to all of our Facebook personnel uh, joining us for right now. Let's see if we can get them into the forecast mode here and give them a better idea as to what's happening. Apologies for the wibble wobbles on screen. Just got going and trying to make certain everybody's uh, up to date with what's going on for early this morning. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, in case I forgot to mention that. Live with more information about what's going on with your weather forecast throughout the course of the rest of the weekend. So as of right now, this is what we're mainly looking at is just plain the cloud cover out across uh, much of the area, and that's about the heaviest amount of activity that we've gotten to see so far. Got any questions on Facebook? Drop them into the comments section. We would also love to know more about what you're seeing out there for this morning. So this is going to be Again, the opportunity for you to ask questions about what's going on with the forecast. Give me one second here to get uh, more information about what's going on with the forecast. We'll talk more about the current conditions out there with the hurricane down around Texas in just a little bit. Currently in the Mid-South, the main thing is going to be the possibility of some more uh, heavy rainfall coming into the picture as what's left of Harvey moves up this direction. Now, the problem is at this time is Harvey is still not being driven forward by anything in 
in the way of very heavy amounts of wind or anything else at this time, so it's going to kind of meander up this direction, so it's going to take a while to move its way on through. More of our weather bug cameras available, again, at wreg.com slash webcams. Also, don't forget to download our weather bug uh, app as well. You can get the weather bug information on here uh, on News Channel 3's website, wreg.com, and also our radar. Tons of other weather information available, so a good opportunity to see more about what's going on there. Currently got a lot of rainfall heading our way. It doesn't look like much at this time, and technically it's not, but we do have some scattered light showers making their way into the Mid-South. The problem is that they're moving into very dry air, so there's little, if anything, here in the area east of the Mississippi River that's going to keep these showers around. Some raindrops, yes, not a complete and total washout for your garage sale or anything else at this point in time, so good news on that. Lauren Alvera, hope I'm saying that right. Good morning to you. Also to Katie Yarbrough Bell, thanks for joining us. Julia Cavallo from Walls, Mississippi. Thanks for dropping by the show for this morning. Let's see what's going on in the forecast. And again, what we're going to be looking for into the next couple of days, uh, especially toward the end of the week, we do have a cold front dropping our direction, and that's going to help to stabilize conditions into the early part of the next week. The biggest thing we're going to be looking for into the next several days is going to be what happens with Harvey. As it gets a little bit closer to us, the position of the storm is going to determine our forecast. As it gets a lot closer to us, we will see again uh, if it gets close enough to us in the next few days coming up from the Gulf of Mexico, that spiral flow of moisture around this storm system will shovel a lot of moisture up our way. But here's the thing. If Harvey decides to hug the coastline and stay over, say, New Orleans, down toward Houston and over toward the Florida Panhandle, We'll get some rainfall out of it, just not as much as will happen if this gets a little bit closer to us into the next several days, say Jackson, southern Arkansas, northern Louisiana. That will be the best possibility of getting more rainfall to us. So the farther north it goes, the better chances of our rainfall is going to be. But as of right now, in the next 48 hours, you hardly notice it doing anything except looping around and possibly heading right back out over the Gulf of Mexico. If that happens, Texas is going to get a lot more rainfall anything north and east of the Rio Grande, all the way back up to around Houston. We could be looking again at a ton of rainfall, even a re-energized hurricane as we get into the next several mornings. So please keep that in mind if you're planning on traveling that general direction. Currently in the Mid-South, again, the main story is going to be the possibility of heavy rainfall out there. For the rest of the day today, again, temperatures will be on the warm side, but not blazing hot. Temperatures mainly back into around the mid to upper 80s across much of the area, so not doing too bad out there where conditions are concerned, but it is still going to be fairly warm, so that extra bottle of water would not be such a bad idea, and the occasional raindrop as well. Decently cool tonight, temperatures going into the lower to mid-60s. Rainfall chances, again, greatest well to our south, so good news on that. Temperatures for highs on Sunday going back into the mid to upper 80s once again, and chances for rainfall will start to increase down to around Clarksdale, Batesville, Helena, West Helena. That's where we'll start to see again uh, the potential of some heavier amounts of rainfall, but again, not looking at a lot coming our way as we go into Sunday. Temperatures Sunday night, upper 60s, right around 70 degrees, and chances for rainfall a little bit less here. As we get into next week, temperatures for highs will be a little bit warmer, mid to upper 80s, and chances for rainfall will kind of start to stair step upwards, and they will go a lot higher in the next several days. Temperatures for lows Monday night in the mid to upper 60s, and chances for rainfall coming and going. It's going to be about Tuesday through the rest of the week to depend on what Harvey really does to our forecast. Candy Tippett, welcome to the show uh, from Olive Branch. Thanks for joining us for this morning. Great weekend. Depends on how much coffee I've had for right now. Uh, through about the rest of the week, Wednesday's highs mid to upper 80s, and better chances of showers and thunderstorms coming our way as we get into the rest of the week. Thursday, lower 80s, more clouds, more rainfall, and that again could bring in the possibility of thunderstorms. High temperatures on the rest of the week for Friday going back into the lower to mid 80s, and that'll be our best chance of rainfall overspreading the Mid-South. Quite possibly a lot more rainfall coming our way as we get into very early on the Labor Day holiday weekend next weekend, so that'll be something to really pay attention to. All right, let's take a look and see what's going on out there. Harvey is again a was a major hurricane. It is now 85 miles per hour. 
and winds again down to about 80 miles per hour this morning. So category one, yes, it's diminished. Yes, it is still dangerous. Just because it's a category one doesn't mean the danger is over with. 80 mile per hour winds, that's some pretty dangerous conditions out there. So this is something that if you are traveling to the Gulf of Mexico, uh, Texas Gulf Coast, Louisiana, this is something you want to be very much aware of. We also have another storm system right over Florida. As this moves out and to the east of Florida into the Atlantic, we could see again the potential of this developing into another storm, possibly even a name storm, but a 40% kind of on the low side, not doing too badly for right there. But Harvey, again, the big weather story of the morning, down to a Category 1 hurricane. Now that means, again, it's just a weekend. It does not mean it's not dangerous. So if you're heading that direction, please keep that in mind. i got to hop back out on set. Tell every more, everybody more about what's going on on Daybreak. If you want to check out my Facebook page, including my trials and travails with my wife of getting our kids moved into college, both of them are now gone. Empty nest syndrome in full swing. So if you'd like to see more about what happened there this week, got all that available on my Facebook page. Hopefully you're there right now, facebook.com slash austinonic, W-R-E-G, and also on my Twitter page as well. Tons more information about weather, the forecast, and all sorts of great information. More information about the forecast if you can't stop by during the rest of the weekend, online or on air. Listen on the radio, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. That'll wrap it up for this edition of News Channel 3. Uh, Lori Wood Reeves, rain in about an hour. No, not the outer bands from uh, Harvey. This is just rainfall light scattered showers for the most part. Harvey is still well to our southwest and is not going to be really affecting our weather until later on. i got to wrap things up. More questions, drop me a line at austin.onic at wreg.com and stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend.